My little sister, Hannah, she was 13 years old when she was taken to the extermination camp in Belgium, 24th of August, 1942. Smalika was about my age when she was murdered by a German firing squad in Banjika concentration camp in May, 1941. I'm 17. Frederick Dermer was 17 when he was ordered by the Nazis to report for forced labour and sent to Auschwitz. We don't know how or when he was killed. Three people amongst so many who were murdered just because they were born Jewish. We are commemorating the tragic loss of six million souls, men, women and children the numbers are unimaginable. The danger is that all those victims could become mere statistics. So what can we all do to remember each one, not as a number, but as a person? A person who had dreams, hopes and aspirations until their life was tragically cut short. Yad Vashem in Israel, in its vast archive, records the names and known details of millions of those people, our people. 70 days for 70 years is a worldwide project to ensure that as many of those victims as possible, each of whom had a story, a family, a life, are remembered. Dora Rifkina was just a little bit older than I am now when just outside of Minsk in 1943, she was captured by the Nazis and shot. She was 19. By learning about some major Jewish ideas in the memory of one of the victims of the Holocaust, each of us can ensure that their memory becomes a part of the Jewish future. In 1938, when the Germans decided they didn't want any Jews of Polish origin on German or Austrian soil, they rounded up 17,000 and sent them back to Poland. Unfortunately, when they arrived at the border, the Poles refused to admit them, and they were unceremoniously dumped in no man's land, and there without food, clothing, or adequate shelter. Many of them, including my father, perished. He was just 34. Each of us will receive the name of one victim of the Holocaust, and then for 70 days, will read one essay a day in memory of that person. To make this a reality, we've commissioned 70 essays from some of the greatest thinkers in the world today. The 70 Days for 70 Years book is being distributed globally. Our aim, to inspire millions to join us in this beautiful project. In 10 years time, very few of the survivors will still be here to bear personal witness to the Shah. Now is the time to make sure that the world doesn't forget. 70 years ago, a third of our people were gathered together and murdered. Let's gather together again, but this time to learn. To learn in the memory of those who died and to learn for our future. I never knew my father. He died before I was born. And I'm not certain whether he actually studied to be a cousin or whether it was his ambition to be one. Whatever the case, I'm sure my father would be very touched to know that someone was learning in his memory. <laughs>